Hey guys, it's Christopher and welcome to another Solaris tutorial. In this video, I will explain two other kinds of teletransportation. Um, because in chapter 10, we saw regular teletransporters, the ones that um, can lead from a teletransporter to a destination entity on the same map or on another map and we saw scrolling and transportation between adjacent maps and yes yeah, so today we are going to see um, special tape transportations for um, dungeons or caves that have several floors so we are going to make stairs between two floors and also a hole that makes the hero fall to the lower floor. So I made a very small cave with two floors, first floor, second floor, and an, uh, an outside map. So let's go. The cave entrance will be here for the first floor and another entrance for the second floor. Maybe here. A destination here, which will be called From Cave First Floor, and a second one From Cave Second Floor. Okay, so let's add the entrance of this cave, um, maybe by copy pasting this. from outside, this is a nice name and let's go to outside from K first floor and same thing on the second floor outside from K second floor <coughs> then I want to make a door here between both rooms um, I have some examples of door here in the out in the inside store. Like this. And like this. Don't hesitate to update your inside store to put any combination of tiles and entities that you use a lot. Okay, so I disabled the second layer to um, allow the hero to pass between both doors here. And with some barriers here to prevent the hero from going below the, the ceiling here. Oops, can already try this. Oops, <laughs> that's funny. I forgot to say transporter. Um, exactly like I did in the French tutorial that I just recorded. So nothing new so far. I just use regular teletransporters and destinations. And now let's make some stairs between uh, both floors. So to make stairs I start with a regular door like this. But I replace this tile, this door tile by this one and to make the same result as in uh, Legend of Zelda can use these arrows here 
So this one, these ones are for stairs on the north of the room. Uh, this one stairs that go upward, and this one uh, down uh, downstairs. <coughs> so let's re just replace this and this by this and oops. And this, yes. So um, nothing happens for now because I only put some tiles and they have no special property. So as always I can make regular teletransportations, um, teletransporters and destinations. This one from second floor. This one from first floor and the teletransporter would be here second floor from first floor first floor from second floor <coughs> and it will work okay so maybe that's enough for you but um, what we can do is actually make the same uh, um, animation as in Zelda A Link to the Past with um, the hero um, walking into stairs gradually with a sound and an animation and to do that we have the stairs entity here add stairs so when, we when you use it you just need to put all three entities you, you need all three and you want to put them all three at the same place just on the stair style so I have the destination, the teletransporter and the stairs <coughs> and you need to tell the stairs what kind of animation you want uh, this one will be spiral staircase going upstairs so the default is already the one we want you could do spiral staircase going downstairs or straight staircases straight star staircases are for these ones okay and the last type here is for a different kind of stairs uh, only actually for stairs that lead to a, pla uh, to a higher platform but uh, this does not involve changing maps they don't involve teletransporters and we will see them in another chapter so it should work but I forgot to put some in the second floor too so again destination teletransporter stairs all at the same place and this one is going downstairs Let's see if it works. Okay, nice. So we really have the same effect as in Zelda Link to the Past. So uh, if you are not doing a Zelda game, you won't probably won't be interested in, in this entity, which is very, very Zelda specific. But uh, if you do, you're probably gonna like them. Okay, that's all for stairs, and now let's make a hole, a big hole to fall on the uh, first floor from here. There are some holes in the inside store here. Actually, I can, I can simply take all of this, copy paste, and bring to back, or just press B and I have my hole and to make the transition between the floor and the hole you need this okay let's see the result the result
Yeah, so I have a hall uh, with no special event. So um, the hero still falls because all, st all styles have the ground property hall here. So the hero is hurt. But um, if you want to teletransport him to a lower uh, floor instead, just put a teletransporter on your hall and resize the teletransporter. And then you just have, as always, to set the destination map. And as destination, you don't pick a destination entity, but instead the special value, same point. And the hero will be transported at the same coordinates on the on the other map. So, do you think it will work? No. <laughs> Where is my hero? So, like I just said, you, he was teletransported at the same coordinate. So maybe. Uh, 520 and 80 which they appear here okay but the only problem is that the f first floor map does not have the same size and the hero ended up uh, somewhere here far from the camera so to fix it you just have to uh, indicate that both maps are uh, shifted. This one actually starts uh, f um, about here, exactly here even, from the other map. And as we saw in chapter, in the tutorial number 11, it's exactly the same thing. You just have to update the location in its world property here to 320. And now this map will be um, will be here relative to the other map. So now it should work. Okay. Great. And uh, one more thing. Maybe you don't want the completely black tile for holes when you when they don't hurt the hero, but instead send on the on, the, on another map. But um, you have these hole tiles here, all these ones. They can be used to give a depth effect because they scroll. Um, so for this floor, you can choose whatever you want. Maybe this one or this one. Actually, this one. And put the teletransporter back. And by the way, if you don't want to have to move the teletransporter, you can just disable the uh, the displaying of teletransporters with this. Just the time to put your your new tile. And OK, we have this uh, scrolling effect to give the impression of depth. And it still works. So um, in the tile set, all these tiles have the property, um, an animation property. They scroll on, it on themselves to give s the depth effect. It's similar to parallax scrolling. And there is a difference between both, and we will see this in another tutorial. Okay. And maybe the last thing we want to do is to set a world here. Um, because if I save the game, remember that the game is saved, uh, restarts at, at the, la the last time the world changed. So if I save here and I restart, Restart here. So maybe you want to restart at the entrance of the cave instead. Um, so you have to put the same world 
and let's go to the world. Um, I don't know, stairs cave or chapter 12 cave. Remember that when the map has no world, it's considered to be in its own world, different from all other ones. So if I get out and in again and I save, so obviously I will restart here. But um, now if I go back on the first floor and I save, this time I should not restart here because the world was not changed when I took the stairs. I should restart at the, the first, the second floor entrance, yes. Okay, very good. I can also set this floor property when you make a multi-floor cave or dungeon. It's It doesn't have any special effect in the for the engine along the world. But um, it can be useful later the thing is that your scripts will be able to read this property later to make a minimap system or something like that. Okay. Or to make to display the the floor number when entering a map uh, when the floor changes. Okay, so that's it. That's enough for this episode. Um now you know how to make stairs that look very much like a link to the past and holes that send the hero back to another floor. Okay, thank you all for watching and see you next time. Bye!